Hey guys, this is Mary with Couponing with Mary coming to you with a CVS deal. But first, I did go to Dollar General and did um, one transaction. So let's get started. I started off with um, going to Dollar General and I'm sorry I'm bringing this deal uh, this late, but um, um, I just didn't have a time to come home and record uh, or do a video for you guys. But um, I did five different transactions at CVS, and that's starting from right here to the Peps to the Dr. Peppers. Um, so I did that. I think I did pretty good. I still paid, I think, a lot of out of pocket, but um, yeah. I don't know. We'll talk about it when I get there. So let's get started on the uh, Dollar Tree. As you guys know, I'm sorry, not Dollar Tree, Dollar General. Um, as you guys know, I've been doing this deal for a little while because I've had several coupons. So it's on the Rachel Ray Nutrish Super Premium Food for Dogs. Now this deal, it's you're literally getting this one bag, which is a... 3.5 pound bag for one penny and for you guys that um, have our new subscribers and um, haven't uh, seen my other videos I highly recommend you guys look at them because um, there's more of a uh, specific description on how to get this for a penny now this coupon doesn't expire until the 18th of September so um, this is the manufactured coupon that I ended up using, okay? It's $3 off of any 3.5 pound bag or larger of Rachel Ray Nutrish dry, dry food. Um, at Dollar General, um, it says there it's $5.95. Now when I go to take it to the register, it shows up at as $5.45, right there where the little asterisk is. Um, so I don't know if that's a sale or is that's, I, I, I mean, I'm assuming the S is for sale. I'm not sure, but it's showing up, it's ringing up for 545. So the thing that I do to get it for a penny is that you have to go into the dollar general app and you download that app through your phone. Um, and there's three sections, three little squares right, right underneath where it starts promoting what, what's on sale or whatever. There's three. There's, I don't know what the first one is. And then there's, um, coupon. There's, you know what? I, I don't even remember what it says, but it's, it's a one of the very, it's the one in the middle. Cause the other one is for the coupons. Those are manufactured coupons. The one in the middle, the keypad in the middle is for the coupons that are store coupons. So you combine that store coupon, you're going to open that little tab and um, it's going to show you to to tap to redeem. You tap it and then you're going to see like a barcode. That barcode, um, what you're going to do is have the, um, have the cashier scanned at, but you have to give the cashier this one first. In order for it to work, because I've had other customers, other, not sorry, not customers, other subscribers try this. And I think what they've been doing is they've giving them um, their phone to be scanned, that barcode on your phone, once you pull that, that uh, Rachel Ray up, they scan the barcode and then it just won't take the manufactured coupon. What's happening is that it's taking the $3 from the app and then once you go into doing the manufactured coupon, it doesn't want to downsize or down um adjust the the three dollars to make it the two forty five I'm sorry the five forty five or two forty four or forty five um so you have to give them the manufactured coupon first and then you have them scan it on your phone um that brings it down to two dollars that coupon when you scan it on your phone is gonna be two dollars and forty four cents Right there, you can see there's a store discount, which is the one in the app, and then there's my manufactured coupon, which is three dollars, and that's going to bring it down to one penny. 
one penny for this Rachel Ray Nutrition. Now I've had other people, other subbies uh, message me that they have done it and um, it worked out. I've had other ones that it hasn't worked out and um, it's kind of been where they've had their phone scanned first and then the manufacturer coupon, you have to do it on the other side, the, the other way around. So this cost me one penny. Now the Airwick up here, it's $5. Um, I know these will run a little bit more expensive. It's black. It's not the white one. It's the black one. It's got more of a of a Thanksgiving pumpkin spice October scent. Um, but if you like that, that's fine. If you don't like this scent that already automatically comes with this box, um, I don't know what to tell you. But it's still a really good deal if you get it. Um, that one normal price is five dollars and we all received a two dollar manufactured coupon from i'm not sure what paper it was but this is the manufactured coupon it's two dollars off any one airwick fresh freshmatic ultra automatic spray starter kit okay this one doesn't expire until the 25th of september so you give them that manufactured coupon, making it only $3, which is a really, really good deal for the set. Um, because just the set at Walmart, you go, it's probably like $7.99. And if you go and get it at CVS, it's probably like $10, even higher than that. Um, so if you go and get this at Dollar General for 5 bucks, they'll have it in an end cap. They're not going to have it where you go and get all your other air, air, uh, air um, what are they called? air fresheners and all that stuff it's not going to be there they're going to be on an end cap so you keep an eye on those end caps that's where you get a lot of the good sales it's going to have a lot of like the fest festive autumn scents and you're going to find it right at the bottom it's going to say five dollars so this is what my receipt looks like five dollars right here the bonus pumpkin five dollars um i gave them a two dollar manufactured coupon and then, I think this was a sale for yesterday and today, but I didn't see when, ex when it expired until um, today. I noticed that it was going to expire today. It was $2 off when you spend 10 So I ended up going to go get that done. Um, so I got a $2 extra savings on this. So there's my bonus uh, pumpkin air freshener there's my rachel ray there's my coupons and then i ended up purchasing two extra gums the extra gums were a dollar a piece and um you'll see that basically i only paid for um three dollars and one cent basically i paid a dollar for that air freshener and then i paid a dollar each for the gum and the one cent for the dog food 54 cents in taxes. I basically paid for four thing four things three dollars and fifty four cents Making it a nine dollars and forty four saving which is a really really good deal But I had that two dollars off of ten and anybody that has done um, any dollar general uh, Deals you'll get that through your phone less as a text message or as a reminder that that deal is going on so this is a really, really good deal. I've been doing this one for a little while. I ordered some more manufactured coupons because I really, really want to take advantage of the one penny um, dog food. So that's an awesome, awesome deal for that one. Now let's get started for this big one that I did. Like I said, I did five transactions. Um, I thought I was doing what I thought I was... I don't know what I thought. I thought I was... Um, Doing a really good deal, um, trying to pay less out of pocket so that I can get ECB, so that I can roll over and roll and roll and roll. Um, I think that's what I did, but I think I got confused when I started doing some of the Colgate deals, but I'll get to that when I get there. First, I started off with the Crest. The Crest is... Um, on sale, it's not even on sale. It's three dollars and seventy nine cents because it's not even on the ad. I did use a one dollar and fifty cent manufactured coupon that we just got from the PNG, which is this one right here, and it doesn't expire until the tenth. So I used one of those. 
So when I paid uh, after the $1.50 manufactured coupon, it came out to $2.29 plus tax $2.59. And then um, it gave me a $3 ECB. Now you can do this, do this deal twice, but they only had one in my store, so I just picked it up. And there it says scope buy one, get one, get three ECBs, and I need one. I, I still need to do I still can do one more to get another three. But like I said, they only had one at my store. So I paid $2.29. It gave me $3, making it a money maker for myself. Um, so I turned around with those three dollars and I bought this. I bought the razors. Now the razors are, um, this is the cheapest razors that my store had. And um, the men's, the Gillette's, they were $8.79. And when you, when you buy two, you get a $5, no, you get a $6 ECB. All right, guys, I was trying to look for that deal on the ad, but I couldn't find it. But these are um, $8.79, which is the cheapest razors that they had at my store. Um, now, I did have a $5 off of 20 that I need that I wanted to add, so I needed to get it up to $20. Um, I couldn't... I don't know. I don't know what I did. I think I could have lowered my out of pocket without purchasing the this one, the Venus, and just purchased like a I don't know a CVS brand uh, to add up the um, to make up for the twenty. But I ended up picking this one up. So I because they only had two of these, the Gillettes, and they had one of the Venus. Um, so that brought up my. Uh, my balance to, let's see, it came out to about $26.57, and I had three of the, three dollars off of one Gillette, or the Venus. So this is the one that I used for the Venus. I used one of these, and then for the Gillette, I ended up using, um, it's similar to this one, but it's not this one. I don't think I cut it out. So this is the Gillette, that, the coupon for the Gillette men's that I actually ended up using. Um, I just haven't cut all my um, my inserts. I was hoping I'd do it this weekend, but um, we had a little barbecue, a little birthday party. Family came over, and we kind of did the same thing today. So, so I just didn't get a time to even go into my inserts and organize. Uh, that was the plan, but it didn't happen like that. So anyways... That I had three of those, and then I had that came out to nine dollars in coupons, bringing it down to seventeen dollars and fifty seven cents. And then I had uh five dollars off of 20, like I made, like I mentioned, making it bringing it down to about twelve dollars and change. Um, after the five dollar uh save five dollars when you spend 20 and then i rolled the three dollars from that crest scope into this transaction and here's my receipt uh and i ended up paying nine dollars and 57 cent giving me back a six dollars ecbs one dollar in taxes eleven thirty and then it gave me um six dollars ecbs that was a 64 percent savings and then it says here that I've uh, reached my limit when I buy two I get six dollars ECB so I ended up doing this deal this deal gave me six dollars ECB which I turned it around and bought this right here and this is where it gets kind of confusing because I bought these two bottles and I bought those two on the ad and I didn't really notice the ad until I actually purchased the stuff um, one because my store had tags all over the place already, obviously because I came today. But um, it shows here that any Colgate total singles, they're buy one get one half off. When you spend ten, you get five dollars ECBs, and you can do this six times. Now, I started. I did that one, which I picked up the mouthwash for that. And then I did the Colgate. Now, I thought it was a combination of the both. You can combine both, spend the 10 and get a, get a $5 ECB. Um, because here's the other one. 
Select Colgate Optic White Sensitive or Enamel Health Excludes Multipacks, and you can do this deal twice. Spend 10 get $5. I didn't even realize that the Colgate was buy one, get one half off. Um, were they or were they not? No, not these. I didn't, I didn't realize that. No, no, no. You know what? I'm sorry. I'm confusing myself. I, um, I don't know what I was thinking. I thought they were both grouped together to where if I do these two and these two give me a $10 spending, I'd get $5. Well, that was not the case. Um, it's when you spend 10 of these two products or the other Colgate toothpaste, which is like the total and um, all those other toothpaste. And then this is a whole different deal over here. This deal is when you spend 10, you also get another $5. So when you guys go to the store and try to do that deal, make sure that you don't get confused. Um, this deal right here with the Colgate total is one deal. So you have to spend $10 in this product. And then if you want to get another $5, you spend $10 in this product. And this one you can do it uh, twice only. And this one you can do it six times. So you can do six times this deal and get $5 every time. Um, and that's why I got confused because this is what my receipt shows. There's the mouthwash. There are buy one, get one, half off. And then there's your enamel health. There were both at $4.69, $4.69. And I did have a $2 when I spend off when I when I buy two Colgate toothpaste, and it had to be that particular um the enamel or the sensitive. So I also had I only had one dollar manufactured coupon for the toothpaste, and I had a dollar off for the Colgate mouthwash. And then I, there's uh, the two off of two and Colgate um, toothpaste. And then I also rolled my $6 ECB from the Gillette. I rolled that into this transaction, paying only $6.61 plus tax, $8.02, and doing, uh, make, do, having a savings of 68%. Now, my receipt printed and it didn't give me no ECBs. And this is what it shows at the bottom. Colgate spend $10, get $5 ECB. I need a 62 cents. And that one, I believe it is the, that one is the toothpaste. This one, the top one is the toothpaste. And then this one, it shows that I needed $1.77 um, for the toothpaste, for the mouthwash to get a $5. So I came into the next transactions with no ECBs because I still, I didn't meet the spending to get a $5 ECB. So that was a little bummed. I had to get out of the line, figure out what happened and how to do this deal again. So I ended up doing this deal. And this is the deal that I don't know if I actually, I just digged my, digged a hold for myself or what happened because I think I spent a lot of money on this one. Yet I did get five, fifteen dollars of ECBs. I was actually expecting twenty, and this is what ended up happening because I got five. Once I did this deal right here, I got the five that I needed to get because I needed sixty-two cents, and then I needed a dollar seventy-two for the other one to complete to get a five. So I did that. So. When I ended up doing this one, I didn't have no manufactured coupons except for the Colgate mouthwash. I still had two Colgate mouthwash coupons. I had no more of the Colgate uh, toothpaste. Um, they had also ran out of the little uh, stickers that they're sometimes just hanging around at the, uh, the little machine that gives you like a 50 cent manufactured coupon. They were also out of those. And I usually just grab a couple and this this time and the previous times I've gone and seen them I've never grabbed them because I just I don't know what I was thinking I didn't think I needed to do this deal again and so yeah I didn't get them so anyways 
I ended up getting the biggest bottle of the mouthwash mouthwash it cost me six dollars and ninety nine cents and then the other one because it's buy one get one half off the other one cost me two dollars and seventy four cents the Colgate sensitive max or whitening or whatever it's called these two right here they were five dollars and ninety nine cents and five dollars and ninety nine cents um, I did use a one dollar and one dollar for the Colgate mouthwash I ended up paying $19.71, which is a lot of money for just these four things, plus tax $21.45. Now remember, I did get the five for this and the five for that, and then I did end up getting another five, and that was for, I don't even know what it was for. I don't know if it was... Okay, it was for the mouthwash. The mouthwash is the one that I still needed. Mm, that's not the receipt. I still needed to get another five. I still needed two dollars and seventy and twenty seven cents to get another five. Blah blah blah. Yeah, guys, I needed another two dollars I don't know what happened with my calculations if I would have known that I would have just gotten another big bottle but I was just trying to save money and so yeah I should have gotten another big one that cost me six dollars and 99 cents and made up the difference of the two dollars and 27 cents and maybe even then it probably wasn't even enough to give me the two dollars so I'm sorry the five dollars ECBs so I paid $19 for this. Yes, it gave me $15, but I expected $20 in ECB. So, um, yeah, so I paid that. Now, I turned around and um, I turned around and I bought this one for $15. I had the $15 in ECB that these gave me right here, the, the Colgate, the mouthwash and stuff like that. So I ended up using this, um, doing this deal. This deal right here, I bought the three cases of soda. Those are when you buy three, or there's, you buy three for $10, right there. The Pepsi and the Coke, it's a Coke deal. When you buy three, you get them for $10. Now I did have um, I've already used it, but I did have two of the two dollars off of three Coke Dr. Pepper 12 packs wherever available. So that would have brought him, I, and these two applied. So I purchased only three. I used those two app coupons and those coupons we've been having them from the previous weeks and I just never used them because it just wasn't a good deal for me but this time I was able to combine those two for those three and it brought it down to um six dollars so three for six or two dollars a piece of course CRV has to get their own so I ended up paying CRV which was 60 cents per um per case um, but that's a pretty good deal. So if you still have some of those app coupons, if you haven't used them from the previous weeks that they've given it to us, run to your CVS and purchase those. And I think CVS will give them to you cheaper if you do those two, $2 off of three and Cokes, um, than Walgreens will. So I did that deal. I also tried to do the Pantene. Um, and I picked up stylers as well. There should be... Um, three of the shampoo, but I gave one to, um, one of my friends cause she needed an extra one, um, of the, the one that she needed. So there should be three of these. And then I purchased three of these right here. Um, now we did have that $2 off for of three. Um, and I think that expires today. Um, yeah, $2 off for of three. Um, and that printed off of the red box. And then we also had that $5 off of three. So I used this, this manufactured coupon right here. And then I also used for the stylers, um, I used this one right over here. Um, $1.50 off of one styler or treatment product. 
So the Pantene is not on sale. It's regular price at $4.99. I purchased three of the Pantene shampoo and conditioner. And then I purchased um, this one that is also $4.99. And I gave them a $1.50 manufactured coupon. And then these two right here with, with were with all of the stylers. And they were two for ten. So, um... I gave, also gave them gave the cashier a dollar fifty manufacturer coupon for each. Um, so that transaction, um, let's see, that transaction it was uh, seven. If you guys can see my chicken scratch right here, um, for all three pantines, four ninety nine each came out to fourteen ninety seven. Minus five, the five off of three manufactured coupon minus the two off of three, which was printed from the red box a couple a few weeks ago. It came out to seven ninety seven. Now I did purchase this the hairspray and the gel for two for ten. Those came out to and they had I had a dollar fifty coupon. Um, and I don't know why it says that seven. Um. Okay, guys, scratch that because I have no idea what I just did right here. But the, um, like I said, the hairspray and the gel were two for ten. I used a uh, dollar fifty for each, making it uh, two for two for seven or three dollars and fifty cents each. And then that other Pantene Three Minute Miracle, I also used uh, there. That was four dollars and ninety nine cents. I used a dollar many a dollar fifty manufactured coupon, bringing it down to three dollars and forty nine cents. So um, doing this deal, it really cost me. Um, but I don't I don't know what I was thinking. Um, so I did that deal. And then I also did the Suavitel. Everybody should have gotten a two dollar, or whoever got that two dollars off of any Suavitel. I think it was any softener. I'm not sure what it was. So I picked up one of those. So this was a completely freebie right here. This is a dollar ninety nine at my store. And then I gave them that two dollar, um, two dollar coupon fabric softener. There it is. It's a two dollar off of any fabric softener. Um, and it cost a dollar ninety nine. So I did that one, and then I also did the Airwick. The Airwick at my store was a dollar. I'm sorry, was buy one get one half off. And let me see if I can find it here. It was a buy one get one half off. One of them runs at six ninety nine, and the second one, um, here you go, buy one get one half off, mix and match. Um, the Airwick, the spray one was six dollars and ninety nine cents, and then the other one was um, I don't even know where I wrote it at. I wrote it on a little paper, but the other one came up to about three dollars, and so I did give them a two dollar manufactured coupon, which is this one right here. It also expires until the twenty fifth. Is two dollars off of any one Airwick Freshmatic Ultra refills. So I used this manufactured coupon. I used two of these. And then I also had a dollar off of a dollar fifty off of five air freshener, so that applied, uh, making it a really good deal. Um, I think I was I only paid two forty nine for each um, versus five dollars at other stores or six ninety nine at um, at Walgr at uh, CVS. I'm sorry. So I picked up those, and so this is what my receipt looks like. There's the Sprite, the Dr. Pepper Diet, the Dr. Pepper, um, the Pantene Gel, the Pantene uh, Hairspray. Those are the two for ten. And then the Suavitel, which is $1.99. There's your Airwigs. Buy one, get one half off, $6.99 and $3.49. And here are the Pantenes, the Three Minute Miracle, and then the three shampoos, $4.99 a piece. Here are all my coupons, $2.00. For the air fresheners, a dollar fifty for the stylers, five dollars for the three pantene. I did give them ten, fifteen dollars in ECBs that I got from the Colgate deals. 
And then um, there's the $2 off a 3 in Pantene, $2 off a 3 in Coke, $2 off a 3 in Coke, which applied twice because I had two of them in my app, $2 off of the fabric softener, $1.50 off of the 5 in fresheners, came up to $16.24. $4.06 is what I paid in taxes, making it $20.30, which, which was about a 77% uh, percent um, savings or fifty three thirty four, making it a really really good deal. I think this one would have been is good deal. I don't think this one right here is a really good deal. Um, but I don't know what I was thinking. I guess I was just trying to get five dollars. So um, yeah, guys, it says here that the Colgate spend ten has been reached because that one you could only do it twice. And then um, I need $3 more for the other Colgate. Um, there's the Gillette offer has been reached. And then there is the scope that I still need one more. So $16 for this. I didn't get no ECBs for none of this that I purchased. But I think it was a bit, way better deal than this right here. I don't know what I was thinking with that. But yeah, guys, this is it. Um... Hopefully some of these deals help you figure out what you can do with your coupons since it's been a since it's a really slow week and um, you guys need to head out to that Dollar General and I hope you guys have it in your town um, because that Rachel Ray Nutrish I've been bringing it at least every week um, and I did order some more coupons so once I get those I'm gonna try to go every day and you can only do that once once with your phone per day because I think that what happens is the um, UP the barcode because um, I think what happened I don't know what happened last week that I did it and then my daughter got my phone and she they tried to scan my phone again um, I guess she confused her phone with mine because we almost have the same phones and they tried to scan my barcode which I had already done a deal and it said that it had already been used so I think everybody gets a separate deal a separate code um, and I so you can only do this deal one time um, this deal I've been seeing it for a long time and it's a really good deal especially um, whenever they have the two dollars off of ten or even try to do it when you do the Saturday deal. So maybe this Saturday you can also combine these two to make the $25. Um, so you can do that $25, uh, five, say $5 off of $25 when you spend at Dollar General. But yeah, guys, this is it. Excuse me. This is it, guys. Um, hopefully you guys can take some of this information and um, make your own deals. Um get back some ECBs and roll them and roll them and roll them until, you know, you basically don't pay much out of pocket. But thank you guys for all my subscribers, all my new subscribers, all my old subscribers. Um, appreciate everything, um, all your comments, um, all your views. Um, and if you have if you guys haven't subscribed, subscribe right at the bottom, you know. Um, 